it's a heavy inverter. It's recommended that two people uh, handle the inverter. You will need a crane and some uh, good foundations yeah, to install this, this machine. We had a problem with one of the BQs that had suffered a fail because of the installation conditions. Welcome to Felt Dusted on ENF Trade TV. I'm your host, Charmaine, and today we are joined by Elemate Solar to break down three products from their list. Hello, how are you? I'm Lucas Fernandez. I'm a technician from the technical department of Elemate Solar. The list of products we will be seeing today is uh, from a residential perspective, uh, the EPQ from Canadian Solar. Also for a bigger scope for more um, industrial or commercial installations, we'll be having a look into a Solax Hybrid Ultra Inverter. And also for bigger installations, for utility scale installations that we call here in the sector, we'll be having a look to Sangro 350 inverter, 350 kilowatts inverter. And just so you know, if you're mainly here for one of these three, you can jump straight to that section using these chapter markers below. You can also speed up if that's more your pace. Let's begin with Solux Hybrid Inverter. Lucas. The name is basically Solux Ultra. Uh, and it's, uh, its manufacturer is actually Solex Power. It's a Chinese brand, but it's quite popular here in Europe. Uh, they are doing quite well. And this is basically a hybrid inverter. Hybrid inverters are the inverters that, ca that can work off-grid and also can work with battery. Basically, this inverter is a inverter which power can range from all from 15 kilowatts to 30 kilowatts. And it, he can work with all kinds of uh, Solex batteries. It's an inverter uh, which power makes him perfect for any kind of small commercial installation. This inverter can perfectly handle up to six strings of, of this kind of, of modules. Tell us about your hands-on experience. What stood out to you? Well, my first impression of this product of Solar Sultra it was I, I was impressed with the quality of the of the build of the inverter itself. Uh, we installed one actually in a off-grid installation here in Spain in Valladolid. It's a pretty heavy. It's not really heavy, but it's a heavy inverter since it's, it's uh, 30 kilowatts. Uh, it's recommended that two people uh, handle the inverter. But overall, the installation is pretty simple and the quality materials are, are great. You can have a monitor so you can have a, a look at your installation, configure your installation and see how it's working from pretty far away. All right, Lucas, what can you say about Solux Hybrid Inverter Performance? So we have a lot of them installed, actually. We have multiple inverters in the same installation and they are, they are working perfectly fine. Uh, since this inverter has an IP67 uh, grade protection, you could install this inverter on a uh, outdoor. You shouldn't have any problem. Uh, related to rain, hailstorms, or any uh, similar accident. This investor manages to keep a higher efficiency because it's the latest uh, product from Solus Power on hybrid uh, inverters, uh, so the inverter doesn't get that hot. Uh, this inverter has a 98, uh, over a 98% efficiency on European efficiency ratings. This inverter uh, can perform uh, perfectly and the partial, uh, partial shading, uh, basically because it has uh, up to three different MPPT controllers. Also, uh, this inverter comes with a function, software function, that uh, acts as a optimizer. That way you wouldn't have, uh, need to install an actual optimizer. What errors do you see the most? They have especially uh, some problems to connect uh, communication uh, cables from batteries or from external devices to the inverter. Because this inverter has uh, six uh, connection ports, C six RS-485 connection ports. So for some installers, if they don't have a clear insight into the user manual or the installation manual of the machine, of the machine they might have some doubts on how to communicate the batteries with inverter or maybe how to um, uh, connect the power cables of the batteries to the inverter or the panels to the inverter because there's basically so much options, right? Lucas, how does Solex Power compare versus its competitors? We think this is the, be the best hybrid inverter in the market nowadays. Uh, we don't think any other brand is quite close even to, to this quality, uh, especially in this kind of power and hybrid inverters. Uh, because it's very, very reliable, very capable, and very robust. Any downside with this one, Lucas? 
Yeah, uh, regarding the, uh, the weaknesses of a Solax inverter, uh, this Solax Ultra inverter, I'll say the, the biggest weakness is that it has so much possibilities that sometimes it's difficult to know exactly what you want to connect and how. Okay, Luca, so how about in price and any other cost? So how does the Solax Power Extra Ultra compare? The price of Solax Ultra in comparison to other inverters on the market is actually pretty competitive. Regarding other costs that these installations might, might face, uh, there's no extra costs because the maintenance is, is annually and you only have to clean the fans of the inverter manually and check that all the machine is working fine. You have a 10 year basic guarantee and you don't have to pay any extra kind of money for, for keeping that guarantee. Okay, Luca, so just in case Solax vanish into thin air, what would you bet on next? And why? If I had to choose another inverter on the market to, to substitute this inverter, I'll probably choose a Sangro SH3T inverter. It's a pretty new inverter that they launched last year. And it's a, also a pretty capable inverter that, that it's in the market. It's a, its power is a bit lower because it doesn't reach the 30 kilowatts. It's 25 kilowatts, but we think it's also a really good alternative in terms of hybrid, big, big hybrid inverters. We asked Lucas to rate Solax from one to five and five being the highest. And Lucas gave Solax a 4.4 average score and called this the best hybrid inverter on the market. Next up is an inverter that doesn't play small. Literally. Lucas had to bring a backup, a crane, and probably walk away with a little sore muscle. So regarding Sanglo XG350HX, it's basically a big scale inverter. It's a 350 kilowatt inverter that has up to 16 MPPTs, so you can connect a lot of power to the inverter, and also can handle a pretty PV, a big PV modules too. These are basically not self-consumption installations, but installations that are connected to the grid and that their market idea is to sell electricity to the to the grid and get a, re a revenue from that, right? Okay, Lucas. So what was your impression with this Sangro string inverter? Okay, so my my first time with a XG350HX installation, uh, I was surprised on the measures of the device because I was used to smaller device, residential device, and this is a big, is one of the biggest inverters in the market. I was surprised also about how easy it is to install the device because you only have to connect the PV modules each string individually to the inverter and then the output of the, of the inverter to the AC bus of the installation. Usually they use a, a logger to control all the machines in the installation and maybe, maybe the most difficult part is to connect all the inverters to this logger because it's a IT thing. But uh, the power connection and the cable connection is pretty easy, it's ABC. Easy to install, sure. But can Sangro string inverter handle the heat? Yeah, regarding the performance and durability, we have installations that are on very hot environments. Some installations that have over 400 kilowatts peak connected with this inverter. And the inverter has no problem to handle on that power. Uh, he can give, as I said, up to these 350 kilowatts at uh, 40 degrees Celsius. So he doesn't have a, a big generating pool. In terms of compatibility with um, very powerful modules, this inverter has no problem because there's three versions of this inverter. There's a 12 MPPT version, a 14 MPPT version, a 16 MPPT version. So you can connect 600, 650 power, uh, power modules without any problem. Lucas, how does this SunGrow inverter handle grid changes and load swings? About handling voltage and frequency undulations, um, this inverter, as, as an inverter that is actually to connect to the Spanish grid, has to comply with the Spain grid code. Or when there's a, a, frequen a frequency failure and the frequency goes e e very high or very low, these inverters for security of the grid, they have to disconnect from the grid. About the efficiency of the inverter, uh, partial and full load, we saw inverters that were uh, with a big oversizing, there's more uh, losses due to these thermal efforts, right? 
but uh, since you also have more PV power, it compensates. For installations that have less modules, since they have less uh, current and also less uh, heat losses, they also gain an extra uh, percent of efficiency. Maybe they are delivering 210 kilowatts due to this. What's your take on SunGrow's after-sale support when issues arise on site? They are pretty weak on their support. Uh, if there's uh, any kind of change of piece or machine that needs to be replaced, it usually takes uh, less than two weeks of the process to receive the new machine, machine install the, the new machine. For example, experiences with this inverter that uh, the installers uh, use, uh, they try, they usually tight the cables more than they are supposed to. And sometimes they break the, the connections due to this. But since we have a good relationship with Sangro, they send us or they send the client for free these extra pieces that they need to replace on the inverter to make it work again. How does this string inverter compare to other big names out there? About common competitors of this string inverter, I, I'll say the biggest competitor we, we face it is Huawei uh, with their 330 kilowatt inverter. Uh, regarding pricing, this inverter is actually pretty affordable uh, in comparison to their competitors. Uh, we think is uh, the payback uh, time is actually very low because of the good performance of this inverter and his re reliability. Any weakness that installers need to keep in mind, Lucas? Regarding the weaknesses of this inverter, I'll say uh, the biggest weakness is its dimensions. It's a big, heavy inverter. As I said, it's a 115 kilo, uh, kilograms inverter. Also has big dimensions. So uh, you will need uh, more than one or two installers to install this, this device. Also, you will, you will need a crane and some uh, good foundations yeah, to install this, this machine. Have you come across any unexpected cost or issues that tend to pop up later? When we, we faced a problem uh, when the, the installers were uh, timing the, the screws on the inverter that sometimes they applied more force than they were supposed to, right? And at first, uh, since, it, since it is an out-of-warranty claim, Sangro wanted to charge the, the installers for this re replacement for these spare parts. But the, at the end of the day, they, they are giving away these, these spare parts for free. Now, what alternative would you choose if this one is not available? If I had to switch this inverter for another brand, I'll see. I'll switch for Solax uh, fourth inverter. It's a hundred kilowatt inverter. Uh, its output is a uh, four hundred volts, so it's quite different from Sangro. But uh, we found out also that, like Sangro, is it has a great re reliability and it's a product with a lot of sales uh, and time on the market. So it's not a new product that can make it or not make it or fail or not fail. It's a pretty reliable uh, inverter. All right, your turn. What would you choose if Sangro was off the table? Comment down below. And while you're at it, here's Lucas' final score with an average score of 4.2. Let's look at it. We went big with Sengro and now let's say hi to Canadian Solar. And there's one thing about this one you won't see on a data sheet. And Lucas is about to spill it. So this product called EPQ is basically an all-in-one solution for residential, residential installations developed by Canadian Solar. Uh, the strength of this product, of what makes it different from their competitors, if you, is that you have an all-in-one solution easy to install and that doesn't need any extra wiring between his pieces. So what caught your attention right away when you installed Canadian Solar EPQ for the first time? So my first impression, impression when installing EPQ, uh, we actually installed this machine at, at, our, uh, at my colleague's place at his home and it was quite easy to install because it's a modular inverter. Uh, it comes with a base, then independent uh, battery modules and then an inverter on top and you don't have to make any kind of wiring wiring between these pieces you cannot you only have to uh, lift the piece which is not heavy it's like 20 20 kilos piece and put it on top of the previous piece and the wiring is also pretty easy because uh, you don't have to wire the inverter to the batteries it's all wired already so you, are, you only have to take two cables 
face a neutral wire, connect it to the inverter, and the inverter is ready to go. How does EP Cube stack up against all other all-in-one systems? So the biggest competitors to these all-in-one systems is, I'll say, Huawei and SAG, for example, SAG. Uh, they provide also all-in-one solutions or similar to all-in-one solutions, but they are not quite modular and quite versatile as, as Canadian is. Regarding the performance and the, um, how, how it compares to other products in the market, uh, since it's an all-in-one solution and it's a, a modular solution, it's a pretty easy solution to install. So about the storage and discharging in, uh, solar energy, it's a very efficient product, product. And we also have installations with solar modules and the EPQ working. Uh, his efficiency is also a 98%, over a 98% on European efficiency levels. If one of these of the components of this inverter fails, you will re replace the piece that is affected. This modular solution also provides you with a more efficiency uh, after sales support. All right, Lucas, so how about in terms of cost and, and price? The prices are all uh, pretty similar and the, to get a better or, or worse price also depends on the, on the volume of devices you are acquiring or on the relationship you have with your distributor. But overall, the price is quite similar to other solutions that are not, for example, all-in-one solutions or modular solutions. We didn't uh, experience any hidden costs as up to date. But we had some technical support and some after sale support that maybe in the future could uh, be uh, on site support, for example, from a Canadian technician, could carry out a cost. But as for today, it's a free services service that they are giving away to sell these products. Sounds convincing, Lucas, but any trade off that's worth taking note of? The weaknesses of this product, I'll say, is that it's a newer product than other products that we already know from Solex, from Huawei from say uh, SAG on the market so uh, we started selling this product when, it's, when it was uh, just fresh out, out of manufacturing and it had some initial issues with the monitoring app we didn't have that much, no that much knowledge on how to install this device and also the monitoring platform was not completely developed so they started and at first we, ha we had some troubles on how to connect to the internet, the machine, because of this monitoring app that they had at the beginning, but now it's all already fixed, so it's, there's not uh, a problem with, with that kind of connections anymore. How about a backup product if this one is not available? If I stop using a Canadian EPQ, I'll choose probably Solax Solution a IES. It's also an all-in-one and plug-and-play solution that uh, Solax has just launched. Into the, into the market. It's a three-phase and single-phase solution, and it's also a pretty good uh, device to have into account, to take into account. Wrapping up with Lucas' ratings on Canadian Solar EP Cube, and here are his scores, with a total average of 4.2. Got a hot take? Don't hold back and share us your ratings in the comment section. Another epic round of product reviews only here on Field Tested. Thank you so much, Lucas, for joining us on the show. So thank you very much to you two also for inviting us here. We were pretty excited to give our insights on these products and we will be happy to join you again whenever.